Imagine a seven-day race that's around 150 miles long in one of the most remote places on Earth. Welcome to the last desert in Antarctica, the only multi-day race on the continent, where dozens of people faced extreme conditions. One of the participants who joined this remarkable journey in one of the frostiest places on the planet is Eyal Shimoni, who came all the way from a place with much different conditions, Israel. Antarctica is, is quite unusual, uh, especially when you come from Israel. Uh, it's, it's not only the how you progress through the weather, uh, it's all the equipment and the gear that you need. Um, for me, I think, you know, the first day was uh, just getting to figure out how do you dress up, what to put on, how do you feed yourself. But despite the sheer beauty around, the conditions have made the race tough. It was uh, a lot of struggling uh, the first day. Um, you don't know where you're going to race um, because the weather is actually uh, what decides for you. The weather provides a challenge for those who were brave enough to embark on the adventure. The pace of progressing, not actually running, was unbelievably slow. So you have to adjust, understand how you put your feet, uh, how you struggle when the blizzards are coming. Um, uh, things like uh, how do you take the fog out of your goggles become a major issue in these places. Often it's not just the body, but also the mental process that's challenging, but it's still rewarding. In my case, in some of the uh, parts of the race, it was more like 25 minutes per mile because you're actually not running. You're simply pushing your way through the snow to accomplish yet another kilometer, yet another mile. Um, but, you know, when you look around, uh, Antarctica, for people that haven't been there, uh, is, is out of this world. Um, it's, the views are just breathtaking. Shimoni visiting Antarctica has been a dream of a lifetime since childhood. A childhood that wasn't easy because of a rare condition he had, which causes the ball-shaped head of the thigh bone to temporarily lose its supply of blood. As a child, I was also unable to step on my left foot for about three years. Uh, I had a, a disease called the LCPD, or briefly Peltas disease. Um, and you think of an eight years old who can't, who can jump, who can play soccer with his friends, um, and accomplishing something like that in Antarctica was a kind of a dream of a lifetime for me. Now he's giving back, raising money for Perth's Israel from the race. I was fortunate to have, to have had uh, parents, my late father and my mother, uh, to support me through that, and and I feel. Uh, very fortunate that I can uh, support mothers and parents as they struggle uh, now with their disease. But he's pushing through the snow for another cause. Yadid Lachinuch is an NGO that is supporting the education system uh, with people that have retired. Um, we figured out quite a few years ago that retiring people have quite a lot to contribute to society. And the concept was, and still is, to support the education system. In this race, Shimoni is the only participant braving the conditions from Israel. Holding the flag, uh, it's a country that I'm, that's my home. Uh, and I'm proud of my home with all the difficulties. Uh, and it's, it's always very emotional doing that. But it seems that for the Israeli runner, this isn't the end. After this race on the frozen continent, Shimoni planning on taking on a fourth race in the Atacama Desert in Chile, considered the world's driest desert.